Hello gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. This week we have a portal of possibility as a grand earth trine allows us to think practically to achieve our goal. It's amazing. Here's your weekly astrology. Hello beautiful Aries. So important this week that you conserve your energy, that we as a fellow Aries conserve our energy because this is it baby Mars our divine ruler is going retrograde is going backwards so we have to go inwards and think about what we need to do and, and do it in a way that doesn't kind of drain us normally we've got so much energy we could do 10 different things at once but we can't do that now we have to be you know see our energy as a precious precious resource now the grand Earth trine for us is all about work, it's all about security, and it's all about our career. So this is really good because you're likely to have a revelation on how you can get your goal, what you need to do to push forward. And actually, if you're really di diligent around the time of that grand Earth trine, if you really work hard, if you're really open to seeing the way forward, a, a, a massive important message could come your way. And then, of course, Mars is going retrograde. And it's in our sign as well. So as I was saying before, this hasn't happened since 1988. And it's big news for us. But it also, I believe, it can help us later on down the line when it goes forward again to really help use our energy in a new way, to use our energy more efficiently, to use our passion more efficiently. We tend to spank our passion. We tend to sort of just, yeah, yeah, we've got so much of it. We don't really put our focus into our passion uh, we, we we treat it like you know it's, it's always going to be there so i think there's vital lessons here and and lots of treasure to get out of that situation now mercury is opposing Chiron, on the wounded healer there's also work to be done this week on our relationship to relationships how are you in your relationships and partnerships right now are you happy or are you not happy what wounds not actually from this relationship but what wounds from the past kind of created who you are when you love someone and when you share yourself with someone be that business be that friendship or be that romantic relationships there's going to be something maybe someone will poke your buttons maybe something's going to happen and it almost like you'll have an awareness that actually the way you're about to respond is not to do with this person this situation is to do with an old wound and that's a really valuable lesson uh, jupiter good news jupiter is going direct happy days jupiter is the planet of good fortune so it's like well Again, around your career, things are pushing ahead and you're feeling great. I was just about to go even further than that. Yeah, I think that's it. Jupiter goes direct and that's the end of our week. Um, yeah, so lots to work on, lots to do and lots to succeed at. And it's the internal work. It may sound boring, but I promise you, when you get the rewards for that and your passion is rising again and, and you will experience more passion in a new way once you've done the work, it's worth it. Oh, I just realized I've got my cards out. Hold on one second. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna pull three cards. Oh, I get caught up. I'm gonna pull three three cards for you to see what the week ahead, what tarot inspiration we have for you. Okay, Aries, just give it a good old shuffle. This is my new hat. Do you like it? It says kindness. Or kindness always. Always kindness. Always kindness. <laughs> okay, Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries. Week ahead from the 7th of September. Give me some inspiration. The wish card again. I'm hoping that the wish card is the card for us for the whole of September because I'm, I'm pretty sure it came up for you before. But anyway, even if it didn't, Good news, a wish is coming true. It may be big, it may be small, but you deserve it. Do you know that? Do you know you deserve your wishes to come true? The cosmos is shouting at you about that. Yes, you got the hermit, but that does mimic Mars retrograde because it's about going within, as I said, going within and looking at your own lantern, which is, which is your own knowledge, your own light of wisdom and reflecting on things. So that's a, and actually, you know, with those two together, and don't forget, you've got a major arcana card and the wish card, 
you know, with those two together, you could do really well. And also you've got the lovers there, which is again, it's about healing your relationships. And actually you might have to spend some time alone or some, some time within yourself to find out, you know, what it, what it is that you need to do around your passion. But guess what? You got the wish card. So, you know, you're resolving that in some way. These are powerful cards, two major arcanas of the wish card. You know what, if, if, if this is kind of um, soul poker, we got a very good hand for this week. Anyway, you take care, gorgeous. Come visit me on Facebook where I'm doing some lives and also Instagram at Michelle Knight and it'd be lovely if you could follow me on here. I would really appreciate it. So much love to you, gorgeous. Speak to you soon. MichelleKnight.com. I was a client of Michelle Knight, so I knew all of the, the psychics and they'd read for me. It's such a innovative and really useful organisation to have at your fingertips. There are a lot of people who they have an idea of what a psychic reading is, they have an idea of you know what a psychic should and shouldn't do, and a lot of it is from centuries gone by, you know, the, the carnival side show. And Michelle really has brought psychics into the modern world. Michelle Knight is a wonderful organisation to work for. It's a unique family and that is readers, the customer service operators. I know if I wanted to choose a reading, and I know I wouldn't go to another company. The ethics, the standard, the professionalism that we keep really is second to none. To be honest, I've never really looked at another reader service because uh, I don't think I need to. When I finally got a job, I, I pray that I will do well with all the tests that we go through. I was absolutely delighted. Well, the process of uh, being employed with Michelle Knight was, wasn't an easy one, which is always makes it more rewarding when you do actually pass the, the four test readings that you have to go through before you're accepted. The interview process is actually reading for other people, reading for some of Michelle's staff as well. It's actually, you know, what they're looking for specifics. So surname, relatives, their names, they're looking for what happened two, three years ago in detail. To be sitting at home and then the phone rings, and this beautiful, distinctive voice, it's Michelle Knight here, I'm ringing you for my test reading, is on the other end of the line, is scary. She, she really wants to know that her clients are getting validations. You get a sense that everybody running it is on the ball. The flexibility we get as readers, as well, it's just great. I do love the freedom of when I can work and when I can have a break. Michelle Knight family are amazing, really flexible, very supportive. It's like working for no other. It's authentic, that's a big thing, it's authentic. She genuinely cares about her readers and about the people that we read for, so it's inclusive. I love working for MichelleKnight.com. They're great people, it's a great energy there. She really cares about her readers getting the best and she really cares about the clients coming and walking away, you know, and feeling like they got what they came for. Working with Michelle Knight, I know that I've got professional backup and I know that the clients are looked after very well as well. Michelle's very involved with her readers personally. If you need information, you need anything from her, she will reply personally. I just love being part of a unique team, one of the most unique companies that, that I've ever come across.